So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are, actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork, and William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't hold him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. I have to go now. See you later.
Maybe one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch.
Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, we'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Uh, let me get my hair again. Do you think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no. With all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year. But I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. So, you do live alone, then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning, all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die... I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next 
Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. It's just a trip fuse, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's 
see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? It must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Would you like to try your famous lock-picking skills on this lock here? Let's see... A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic! Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. This is A. What does depression feel like? Well... It feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. That's funny. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, but I have to die. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. 
Oh, what a shame they moved out. Okay, I think we're getting closer. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Who's William? William is my he's twelve. He should I have to go. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog. Come on guys, the party moved over here. Where are they? This is A. Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cats upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind it. It's too heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. Stand back. There. The 
door everyone's forgotten about. Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah, perhaps I am. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from Flat Six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. You ever heard the legend of the Cat Widow? The Cat Widow? No? can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's... pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Are you sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay, so what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay, so what do we need? Well, red pen. The dr also, I'll need some. We need.
Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops, no telephone lines. Okay, I'm not really surprised. Are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Let's go. I'll try to catch that thing for you, all right? It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Do you want to go in first? Come on in. The place seems empty. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. Oh no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here.
I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Why do I always end up in places like this? <laughs>